Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Who's ready for some more wrestling? Yeah, I, I really appreciate that last month, guys. It was a great time. I love all you guys. You're my second family, so thank you for that very much. With that said, this next contest is set for one fall, and it is for the TWF Cruiserweight Championship. Your referee in charge, Mr. Jesse Logan. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Introducing first, hailing from the party capital of the world, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Weighing in at 190 pounds is the challenger, LJ syllables in that word. Well, I'll tell you. The end is going to be returning here. He'll be joining me in the commentary booth. LJ Cruz getting his opportunity to face the Cruiserweight champion. The man from the Empire. And you know the Empire and I have no long lost. What's with this cup over here? Hey, Blackie! And it looks like one of his Empire henchmen coming out here. Because you know Blackie can't do anything on his own. Yeah, you want to talk, you want to put... Hey, watch the aim that thing, man. There's a nail in it. No love lost between the fans and the Empire, that's for sure. As the Empire has continued their tyrannical rule over life over here in the DWF arena. LJ Cruz doing his pre-match calisthenic warm-up there. LJ Cruz has been a true champion, true caliber of a champion. I wish we could say the same for any of the Empire members, but then again, I'd be lying to you, and I just, I'm not known for that. Oh yeah, that's right. You might as well help Blackie up to the ring. Hey Blackie, you need a hand to get into the ring? You need to be lifted up to get into the ring? Hey Blackie, we loved your debut the other night. Oh, look at that. No respect for the referee. Yeah, Blackie, you keep showing up that belt. Hey, Blackie, that's real good. Blackie, I got a moment for you. You know, he may be the DWF Cruiserweight. He may be a champion tonight. Blackie, you may be the DWF Cruiserweight champion. You may hold that cup, and you may have your henchman, the Empire, but you know what everybody here remembers you for, right? We just brought your debut on Wednesday as part of Hulk Hogan's Midget Championship Wrestling! Good job, Blackie. What'd you say, David? David, what'd you say to him?
is an on switch. Shut up, your commentary is terrible. You tell big country, yo, 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 yo. The man. Put that shit. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I should be in the main event tonight getting my title shot. The one thing this company got straight is I'm the number one contender for the world title. So tonight, you shut up first. So tonight for a short time, your name is Big Country. And I'm going to whoop your Scott Bale looking ass. You know, that's what we've learned to expect from the Empire. No respect for the equipment, no respect for the establishment, no respect for the ring, no respect for the titles. There's absolutely no respect whatsoever for the Empire. And I'm sure as Jesse Logan, your official for this match, will find they have no respect for themselves. All right, Jesse Logan is called for the ballot right now. LJ Cruz and Blackie going out of Fast and Furious. Blackie right now. And joining me once again at ringside, John Soul, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, LJ Soulfly Cruz, he earned this shot by beating Zito last month. So it's a well-deserved, long-time coming championship match. He better make the most of it. Well, I'll tell you what, Blackie, right now, sneaking behind LJ Cruz. Didn't even have an opportunity for the referee to check him out. Right now getting to a chin lock, and he's tanned. Taunting, tantalizing. Look at that, but LJ Cruz, no, he's a little bit of a Matt veteran himself. And I'll tell you what, LJ Cruz has worked against some giants of industry, but that's certainly not who he's facing in the ring tonight. Absolutely, but I've been people say I disrespect Blackie. I respect the guy's work ethic. The guy never gets tired, apparently. And he work is the ethic. What are you kidding me? The man sleeps until noon yeah. and he goes back to bed at one. Well, he is the DWF award winning longest reigning cruiserweight champion in history. That's why he carries that little trophy with him. That's because he keeps cheating. We love that trophy. cheated every time. If he didn't have those henchmen that empire against him, there'd be no way in the world that Blackie would be oh, able to defend The lion saw, lion tamer. I'll rather, lion tamer. That is a pretty impressive maneuver. I'm sure somebody outside of the Empire must have taught it to him. Oh, LJ Cruz with a reversal! Oh, that we that almost had a new champion. He sure did. And the one thing I've noticed, the one thing that's changed over all the matches that Blackie's had like, the referee is not Jimmy Dylon, so LJ Cruz has a fighting chance. Oh, he almost wins the belt right there! You know, I don't think the referee, Jesse Logan, was able to properly check out Blackie for foreign objects. I think he better check out that skull cap. I think he better check out that other member of the Empire. Does he have a legitimate... Well, good, right there, LJ Cruz, apparently paying attention. Oh, we got a new champion right there! Because I know that skull cap can be used as a choking device. Thank you, Jesse, for getting that out of the way. Oh, apparently oh, Blackie's fan. The lights went out at Ben Sorkin! Oh no, the Empire has now joined Blackout. We have blown out the power this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a hot night, but this is not supposed to be a lights out match. We better keep an eye in the center of the ring right now. LJ Cruz bouncing around. He doesn't know what to expect. The lights went out of Penn Sorkin. Oh my God. But the match must go on. Turn the spotlight. All right, we're going to continue calling the commentary right now. David Adams, I know you didn't think we were going to be commentating on a radio show. Fortunately, the fans live are seeing what you cannot on the DVD. You'll have to take us work for right now. This grueling contest continues as right now, LJ Cruz taking the advantage over that horrible henchman of the Empire, Blackie. That's right, Johnny Solo. This is WKRP in Cincinnati. Penn Sorkin style, the lights went out, the show goes on. LJ Cruz doesn't seem to care. This is his shiny moment, and nothing's going to stop him from claiming the gold. Who was that supposed to be, Venus Flytrap or Johnny Fever? Exactly. Johnny Fever, baby. <laughs> All right, can we get a car in here and maybe turn the headlights on? All right, Jesse Logan going on right now. It looks like Blackie is not quite out. He's trying to fight back. And you know what? The crowd is actually behind him. I don't know if they paid somebody off. In fact, I doubt it, because they don't pay for anything. Oh, LJ Cruz making an amazing comeback here. That was a big time drop kick there, John. Here he's gonna go, he's gonna go for the cover right here. We have a new champion, possibly. Well, this crowd is lively, this crowd is wild, and he returned to the indoor DWF arena right now. LJ Cruz working a submission maneuver on Blackie right now, twisting and turning the little man. This is a very smart move. Oh, 
Oh, Black Beauty with the reversion. This is why he's a champion. But no, LJ. No, Blackie. Oh, no, no LJ. Wait a minute. What is going on here? The light situation hasn't phased these two gladiators one bit. Back and forth action. Two worthwhile competitors. Two worthy competitors to hold that Cruiserweight Championship. But only one will walk out. Oh! Oh, now we're getting enlightened. Here we go. We got lights. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who weren't able to pay attention earlier, right now, Blackie, despite his diabolical ways, has so far successfully been able to defend that Cruiserweight Championship belt against the electric LC Cruz. Oh, that's the momentum that Blackie was looking for. We look, here he goes in the high red district. Now, David, you may need a little young to remember this, but when you were still in grade oh. school, LJ Cruz was being thrown off of buildings. I'd say this could be it, but look how much that took out of Blackie. That almost took out as much out of him as it did his challenger. You know, you land on a man like that, it's like getting the wind knocked right out of you. That blow right to the sternum. You know, you take these risks with these high impact maneuvers, and that shows you the arrogance, the cockiness, the pompous attitude of a man like Blackie, knowing that he has the rest of the Empire henchmen to back him up. Watch the ring ropes there. Oh, the heart, the heart of the challenger. He kicks out after that vicious frog splash. This is certainly the most exciting match we've had so far this evening. David, we have been here. We've been calling a lot of matches back and forth. But the back and forth action between LJ Cruz and Blackie got to be one of the more exciting men. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's been building up here. LJ's been wanting a shot. And this, if he, if he doesn't win the belt here, he may not get another title shot for a long time. Because he'll get put back. There's oh! The oh! Bottom of the list, I was going to say, but oh! Twice. Blackie three times, champion. I think he just about knocked off LJ's head. Vicious kicks here by the champion. Oh, I thought he was going to keep the belt right there, but two. What we loved about the heart of the challenger, I'm telling you, I've watched LJ Cruz work his way up, work his way down, get tossed to the curb, get thrown off a roof, and look out! Oh! oh! See, that's the kind of thing that the Empire's known for. Attacking an official. Logan is down, beating him up. LJ right now is trying to take the advantage. I've seen this maneuver before. Whoa! Knocking the block off of the little champ. Or should we call him the chump? LJ needs to take the advantage, but your official Jesse Logan is knocked out cold. Redneck Jesse Logan gonna be unable to take the count. Is he going for a Samoan death drop here? What's the maneuver? No! Blackie able to reverse it. He gets LJ up on his shoulders. Up and over. Wow, what a technically sound move by the champion right there. You know, I'm not going to take anything away from him. I don't like his tactics. I don't like his style. I don't like the fact that he relies on others. But that was a damn fine move. Oh, what, what is this? Victor Cajones! Victor Cajones of the Latin Nation! Victor Cajones! A former cruiserweight champion in his own. Right now, interjecting himself into the match. Finally even things out. Oh, oh my god! He snapped Blackie in two! That was a form of the code breaker right there from the top rope! Uh-oh, Victor Cajones right now. Looks like we've got almost a two-on-two -two match. Wait a minute! And LJ Cruz! Oh. Well, there's no logic Both in that, down. is there? But the most important factor, the, the referee... The man I once said was crazy. Uh, the referee is still knocked out, though. Everybody's down. Ty Reno doesn't know what's going on. It's out of control here in Pensalkin. You know what? I'd say with Jesse Logan out cold, they've still got a more impartial referee in that ring than they would if they had that Jimmy Dylan guy out there. And LJ. And Blackie. And LJ. Go back and forth. And Blackie. And LJ. It's like round 15. And Blackie. This is back and forth action. Oh, Blackie Ooh. gets two in. Let's see whether or not LJ will respond. Boom. Oh, that yeah. maneuver was nuts. But the referee's out. He never saw it. LJ's got him up and over. This could be the end. Good night. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Congratulations, LJ. And finally, getting it out of the house, out of the ground, out of the mercy of that empirical, the empire. Bye-bye, losers. History like this can only be made at Doc Diamond's Devastation Wrestling Federation. This is the anniversary show, and Blackie doesn't have his gold anymore.